Good morning, Mr. Kafka. How are you? Good morning. Thank you. Very good. Thank you very much. Nice to meet you on Zoom call. As you are now from Minte and you are so many years from Australia, as I understand, you were looking after the division, different region, and now you are global sales vice president. So it's a really meaningful and important position in, in Altendo. Good luck to you for your rest of the, uh, the tenure. Thank but, you very uh, much. Uh, it's, a, it's a nice challenge to have, but uh, I think uh, yeah, it will keep us busy for a long time, that's for sure. <laughs> uh, Mr. Kafka, tell me, as, as we met first time on Zoom call, and this is what we call new normal because of this pandemic situation, and yeah. I don't know, we don't know how long it will continue like this. We, we, want, yeah. we wish everything come back soon, old normal very soon, but uh, for the time being, we have to continue like this. How yes. Altendorf has been uh, coped up the situation? Yeah. Um... I mean, obviously, I mean, uh, we, we learned uh, quite quickly uh, and responded very quickly to the situation of the COVID-19, mainly because uh, of our operations in China, in uh, Qingquandao, where we have a manufacturing plant. And obviously, the Chinese government uh, put out some restrictions uh, during January. And also, we were uh, impacted uh, our plant was impacted uh, in, in Qingquandao. So obviously being here in Germany, we very quickly thought this might not be isolated uh, situation and we have to start preparing. And so we have, uh, again, very early started preparing uh, situations where, again, today it's, it's quite normal, but we're talking about extra hygiene, you know, the social distancing, uh, working from home, setting up work, workstations at home. We done that, I would think, quite early compared to other companies because we had a little bit of a know-how or, or uh, we seen what happened in China and uh, we thought, let's, let's get prepared. And so we have done that. And, and uh, I have to say, uh, yeah, uh, you know, at the moment uh, we are all healthy and uh, that's the way we want to keep it. That, that's very interesting. And since it flew from... East to West, you, you had knowledge of it in, in hand before, and so you started taking good care of it. That's very important. Yeah. Okay, Mr. Kafka, one point I want to ask, I'm asking all my clients and company, that this woodworking business is depending a big portion uh, and smoothly uh, that depends on the supply chain, you know, any manufacturing, yeah. any manufacturing business yeah. as well. So what about Altendorf, about uh, the supply chain? Yeah, I think, uh, look, uh, like I said, we, we are very proactive in, in our actions. Uh, we thought that the supply chain might affect us, but in saying that, uh, first of all, our service operations uh, been working 24-7, so we were able to not just uh, service and assist our customers, but we also have been able to deliver machines where possible of course, you know, uh, giving the different country rules and, and uh, different situations on the market. Uh, so uh, also we are a, a, a company, uh, I like to call it, we do it ourselves uh, company. So it didn't affect us as much as we first thought. Obviously some, some, some uh, deliveries and, and transport was difficult, but at the end, uh, I think we, I think we personally, personally, I think that we have, come uh, quite unscathed through this situation. And that's also, I guess, a statement because our manufacturing plants at Hebrock and at Altendorf haven't stopped. We've been manufacturing through the coronavirus and we are still manufacturing now. I mean, obviously in Europe, there's a holiday period coming up, so we, we, we will close down for three weeks. But uh, I think that's a very good statement for us, a good sign for us that we've done uh, the right Put, put in the right strategy and processes and stay close to our customers. And I think that's really a, a, a very positive sign for us. I'm sure all Altendorf machines will be bug free during, during this time. <laughs> yeah. uh, uh, Mr. Kafka, one another point I would like to ask, like uh, besides supply chain, which is very important for our business is after sell service and which involve a large number of traveling which is unfortunately yeah. not possible now. 
But at the same time, we know our machines are very smart now. You can remotely identify and give solutions to your customer. So what about yes. you? Yes, absolutely. I mean, uh, you know, digital technology has always been a priority on our, on our list. Uh, you know, we have used the digital platforms. Again, I think most of the companies are doing this to do live demonstrations, education, training webinars, and, and yeah, for our people and our customers. You know, and uh, at the end of the day, we have to learn the new way. And the new way is, uh, you know, doing situations where a customer sends a sample that he wants to uh, produce and uh, it's sent by, uh, sent by post or, or, or courier. We do whatever he needs to do with that sample here, show him, send him back the sample, he's satisfied and says, yeah, I really like this, uh, you know, let's continue our sales process. So, so, yeah, we have done that quite successfully, I think. And, and I think the, I guess the challenge in, this, in these times is really uh, the dialogue, dialogue of skills. Uh, when you're talking to somebody like you and I are talking online, it's, it's not that easy to, to show your personality sometimes. So, so I think what, what used to be uh, pretty good pro-COVID today seems quite amateurish. So we have to get all better doing these things and uh, and yeah it, it is a it is a new way of a new way of life uh, i think most people uh, got used to it over the past six months uh, but uh, like i said let's hope that uh, we don't have to do this forever we are, we are a totally digital magazine but still we believe physical meeting is something very very important for b2b business and we all are in b2b so and i hope you know soon we will start again the physical meeting Okay, Mr. Kafka, my next question would be, as this year we have seen most of the important trade show where generally we often we meet are canceled or postponed. So how you would develop a next line of uh, the marketing strategy during this time? Yeah, I mean, definitely, I, you know, obviously, you know, when it comes to our brands, Altendorf of Hebrock, uh, we have strong brands and I think you, you know this. Uh, Altendorf celebrates 114 years this year and Hebrock celebrates uh, 40 years. They have a 40, uh, 40 year uh, anniversary. So between the brands, we have over 150 years experience. But uh, I think also we have to still stay very close to our market and to our customers, because I think that's very important because, uh, you know, brands are strong, but we need to make sure that the brand stays stronger for another 150 years. So at the end of the day, we are very close to our customers, obviously through online, online media, obviously telephone calls, meetings like you and I are having today and, and having a dialogue with our customers or our partners, for the matter of fact, about where can we assist? It's not about just selling machines. It's about you know their well-being, the, their business's well-being, and, and making sure that you know if they are struggling or if they need something from us, that we can help them. You know, I mean, sure, every company likes to sell machines or likes to deliver a service. We 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 not any different. But at the same time, we see our customers as partners, and uh, you know, partnerships for life. And 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 in this case, we need to also be helpful and be able to provide the assistance uh, they need uh, if they are, let's say, struggling or they cannot, uh, like I said, deliver something. We can sometimes deliver, the, uh, help them deliver their own product, you know, et cetera, et cetera. So it is, it is a partnership at the end. And uh, we, we have really uh, strongly emphasized this to our people and to make sure that we are still very close to our customers. And we have been. And I think our, de uh, our team has done a, you know, a fantastic job, I have to say. Very good. As I said, like we are producing digital magazines for B2B industry for Europe and USA for last 15 years. And yep. we have seen an increase of 30 to 40% readers online, you know, who are reading our news online or more people on the social media or you know, through our website, they're coming to content, read the content. So I'm sure the same with every company it's like uh, as we can understand like digital technology is the it is the time we should adopt the digital technology and we should make more smart machines so what about you what about your company is planning in in future taking the taking the lesson from this time 
Yes, absolutely. I mean, uh, we are all about innovation and, uh, and that's something we are, you know, con continually doing and working on. And uh, at the end of the day, we, we are now uh, working on a, on a system which we call a hand guard, which is a prevention of uh, you cutting your hand on a sliding table saw. Uh, we are in a, in a process now to uh, set up uh, test machines in the market. And, uh, and I think this is gonna be a quite a nice evolution for, for, the, for the sliding table saw industry. Obviously, with our edge bender, same thing, uh, the connectivity, uh, being able to see the machine online, being, being able to service the machine online, these are the things that uh, we are definitely not just working on, but implementing, because I think, again, like you said, it is the future. Uh, on the sliding table saw, again, we have connectivity, uh, within the machine, so on, on some of the models where, again, if the customer is in a, not just in a remote area, but let's, let's say a case like today where people can't travel, for example, we can help him online with the connectivity. So, so we are looking at these things. And again, uh, it, the, the situation today or the challenging situation today is showing us the necessity uh, for these things to be even more uh, in our machines. That's, that is for sure. Right. And as you can understand, things are getting better day by day. We are getting mixed information from all over the world, but borders are opening. EU in a better situation now. Southeast Asia is also better. Which next trade show you are planning to exhibit? And in Germany also, now it is allowed to organize a trade show with a lot of new norms. Yeah, I think the, the main show obviously is Ligna next year. That is the key for us, obviously, here in Europe and, and also for our partners around the world. Uh, most likely, uh, uh, there will be a Guangzhou show in, in China in March. But uh, this year, uh, as far as I know, uh, apart from, I think, one or two uh, exhibitions, which still haven't been cancelled, uh, there are no exhibitions uh, um, you know, available for us to, let's say, join. Uh, we will obviously again uh, do a few in-houses uh, through our subsidiaries around the world, uh, invite customers uh, to see our latest innovations and obviously then also with our partners or our dealers uh, in, in German handlers that uh, we can also provide some open, open days uh, for our customers. That's the only, only solutions we have at the moment uh, apart from obviously uh, being online and doing some uh, live demonstrations or trainings. Right, you, you organize a lot of webinar and online, uh, you know, demonstrations and meetings with your clients, with your colleagues. Absolutely, so, yes. Right, absolutely, yes we do. Yes we do, we, we, yeah. we have, uh, like, I, like I mentioned before, we, you know, uh, right from the beginning, we understood uh, we can't we can travel to customers, not just, even if you can, you don't wanna put anybody at risk, so uh, the, the preferred form of communication would have been on Zoom uh, trainings or demonstration, et cetera. And we have done, I have to say, we have done that very successfully. Uh, not just the training, we also use the time to train our partners or our dealers or agents. So we done, a, I have to say, we've done a lot of training, but we also done a lot of live demonstrations, which led obviously to sales. So, 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 so. We killed two birds with one stone, let's call it. Right. Thank you so much, Mr. Kafka, for your time. I wish you all good luck and success and stay healthy. Give my regards to all of your colleagues and especially to Serpil. Yes, I will. Thank you very much also. I'd just like to mention that uh, during these challenging times, uh, it's always good to have a good team around you. And I, I think at Altendorf and Hebro, we have a fantastic team of people. Thank you very much, yeah. Mr. Kafka. We'll hope to see you soon. And our coffee is due. Uh, next time we'll meet, we will have a nice German coffee together. Stay safe. Thank you very much again.